I believe you can live in the Bible and still succeed in life. I believe that with all of my heart, with all of my soul. Tickled to be back tonight. Had a good meeting this morning. God kept us. Uh, God brought heaven by. Folks got help. Uh, and I appreciate it for that. I feel like God might have called to a few folks. Uh, but here's, here's the truth. As long as there's a God on the throne, there's still hope. Amen. I believe that with everything in me. Uh, he is hope. That's his name. And I appreciate him for that. Amen. I'm sure I do. I, I was thinking uh, while they were singing it as well with my soul. Um, everything has always been all right in heaven. There's nothing that's ever shook up heaven. Uh, and what I mean by that is you, you go and you look at the fall of Adam and Eve and how that, that shook all of humanity. But if you looked at heaven, everything would have still been a-okay in heaven. Amen. Amen. Well, why? It, it, was such a, it was such a moment that, that changed everything. It might have changed everything down here, but it did not change God's plan. Right. Adam was never plan A. Jesus has always been plan A. Mm -hmm. And when you look at moments down here that, that shake us, and you look at moments down here that unsettle us, the moments that we're not ready for, if you look up at God in the moment of your fear and your, your distress, and you look up at him and you wonder, is he stressed out? Is he freaking out? Is, 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 he, is he uncertain? The Bible said in the book of Hebrews, when he could swear by no greater oath, he swore by himself. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. What's that mean for me and you? In the moments that we're not sure, he's still sure. In the moments of uncertainty, he's still our certainty. In the moments where we don't know what's coming next, how it's going to go, God still has a plan. When you can't trust in your own self and you can't trust in the times and you can't trust in government, you can't trust in anything, the Bible tells us in Hebrews, this hope we have as an anchor of the soul. Amen. 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 I'm thankful that if mine and your life, mine and your mind, mine and your souls, our stability, if it's tied to Jesus Christ, as long as everything's all right in heaven, it'll be all right with me and you. Tickled to be here tonight. We praise God for the wonderful singing. Amen. Unending love. I thank God for it. I thank God I've been set free. Yeah. For who the Son has set free. And I appreciate this detail. Not just free, but they're free indeed. Amen. Yeah. There's no question about that. Uh, there's no, when, when you look at me and my past, of who I once was, there's no relation anymore. Because yeah. who the Son has set free. There's not even a record of my past anymore. Amen. Amen. Praise God for that. When you get that, you'll be tickled to death. Amen. That you're not even in bondage. God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. It's not even on the map. Go ahead. Go find it. You won't find Sodom and Gomorrah. It's not there. Why? Because when God got rid of it, he got rid of it. When he forgave us of our sins. He got rid of it. Praise God for it. Amen. Thank God. We're looking forward to preaching Bob tonight. Amen. 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 Excited for preaching Bob. Preaching Bob. We're holding him up in prayer tonight. Uh, he's my pastor uh, and a father of the ministry to me. Uh, so I'm looking forward to him being in the stand tonight. Amen. We love tonight. Anybody got a prayer request on your heart? Maybe you need to testify, brag on the Lord. You ought to go ahead and do so.
have not done so, speaking of Brother Whalen, today's his birthday. And uh, I sent him a text this morning. I said, happy birthday, cutie. And I'm sure he appreciates that coming from his pastor. <laughs> been blessed and you're amen. amen. You got folks on your heart, pray for them. Amen. Amen. Anybody want to be closer to the Lord? Amen. If you will, let's gather in on the altar this night. Come on in, if you will. Brother, away and leave us for Father, in heaven, Lord,
polite to everybody. Then uh, came along Hudson, and uh, he delighted to everybody. But you know, I was sitting there thinking tonight and this afternoon, how many of you remember the old carnivals where they had the big round light on the generator that would go back and forth? Yeah. It would light up the sky. You remember those? They don't use those no more, and they used to use them at airports. Uh, to uh, light up the airports so the airplanes would know where to land. They use lights on the running uh, on the uh, uh, runways now. Uh, they don't need those big lights anymore. But let me tell you something. According to the scripture tonight, in that 12th chapter, and that's what I want to look at for just a little while, that ye may be blameless and harmless, uh, uh, the Son of God without rebuke and in the midst of a crooked and a perverse gener uh, nation uh, among whom uh, ye shine as lights in the world. Yeah. And you know tonight Jesus told me and you to be a light. Yeah. Uh, when did I become a light? Uh, a lot of people tonight said, well, <laughs> you've got to work to be a light. Yeah. My friend, let me tell you something. Uh, if you came to an altar prayer uh, and surrendered your heart and your life uh, uh, back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, my friend in this son, uh, uh, didn't happen over a period of time. Uh, uh, my friend, as soon as you accepted uh, uh, Jesus Christ uh, in your heart and in your life, uh, he became alive in the world. Uh, and my friend, that's what's so important to mine. Uh, uh, we are shining lights, uh, not just the one another, uh, uh, but we're lights
My friend, it's shining in this world. Every church that believes in God, every church that worships God, my friend, every church in this world is not light. Right. Uh, I got news for you. Uh, uh, there's a lot of churches out here tonight. Uh, uh, my friend, let me tell you something. Uh, they don't believe in worship. Uh, they don't believe in praising God. Uh, they just want, my friend, to have a little gift together. Yeah. It's more important. Yeah. Because we need to be a light. Amen. 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 Uh, yeah. There's a lot of ways you can be a light. Check your attitude. Break. Huh? Break. Check your attitude. My friend, let me tell you something. You can walk into a midst of a bunch of people and they can tell pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. Huh? This is how my friend sinners can tell. Yeah. Sinners can look at you. Yeah. They'll either see a lot of bright light or a dead light. Yeah. And my friend, listen, I hate to use a flashlight and have to go hunt back. You know what a lot of God's people need to do? They need to go hum them some batteries. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Why? Because their light's not a beam. Their light's not a shining. Yeah. Huh? Oh, let me tell you something. I worked with an old Methodist boy when I was lost. His, boy, his name was Doyle Cagle. Every morning he'd come into work, and the first, let me tell you something, I got tired of hearing it. And my friend, the first thing that come out of his mouth, I, do you love Jesus today? I said, absolutely, I love Jesus today. He said, but do you know him? Do you know about him? I said, I've heard about him all the while. Huh? Yeah. Been a PK for 60 years. Yeah. Yeah. Preacher's kid, I've heard it all my life. Yeah. I was packed at every church over the country. Huh? Faith, let me tell you something. You hang on to that guy right there, he'll be in every church in this country. Somewhere or another. Somehow or another, you'll be in places you saw, oh, how you'll say, oh, how did we get here? Huh? Oh, why are we here? My friend, let me tell you something. You can take me five, six hundred miles away from home, but I can't wait to get back to where the light is. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah. oh. I love the light of God. Yeah. Yeah. And he told me to be a light of the world. I can't be that much anymore. But I'm gonna do my best. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now let me tell you something. It may be somebody out there looking at you that you don't even recognize, you don't even realize. Maybe you're listening. Uh, uh, they're looking at you uh, and they check you out every day. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, the world checks me and you out every day of my life. Uh, uh, my friend, let me tell you something. Uh, if I go and get up grumpy, my wife knows it. Uh, and my friend, if I leave the house out of the way, uh, uh, somebody else is going to see it. Uh, uh, but my friend, listen. Uh, uh, I get up loving the Lord, my wife will see it. Uh, uh, she'll give me a big old hug. And my friend, when I get out in the world, they'll see the light. Amen. 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 We need light. What's America need tonight? It needs the light. Huh? America is dying and living in darkness tonight. Huh? But when they need light. And you how I like get there. A lot they how I got it. Huh? And there was a bunch of lights. Huh? My dad, my mom, both parent mothers, both sets of my grandpas, both sets of my grandmas, aunts, uncles, my whole family on both sides seemed like they's all Christians. Huh? My friend, I had an uncle one time. We went down south on vacation, and I went down to a little church down there, and they call it uh, Friendship Madness. You might know about it. It's called Piney Point Road. 
I never will forget it. I, I, my uncle was lost without God. I, I, but you know what he did? I, that old pastor asked me if I wanted to preach that morning. I, and I thought, well, I, there ain't no sense turning down an opportunity. I, I'll preach. I, and my friend God gave me a little message I, after a while. I, let me tell you something. I, they give an altar call. I, I stood up there. I, and guess who stood up in the back? My uncle. Lost without God. So they got back down to the fishing camp, and you know what? He made a special trip. Over to my college, he said, I enjoyed your message this morning. I enjoyed your message this morning. He said, You should have been where I stood with God. A few weeks later, my daddy's church over in Anderson, Indiana. He walked down the aisle and surrendered his heart and his life to the Lord Jesus yeah. Christ. Got saved by the grace of God. Yeah. My friend, let me tell you something. I, I, somebody needed to be a light to it. Yeah. Yeah. My friend, let me tell you something. How many people in your life has been lights to you? I, I, my friend, let me tell you something. I'm not talking about just an old dim light. I, I'm talking about somebody I, I, that you can recognize I, as a child of the king. As a child of God. Amen. Huh? I'm not ashamed to be called a Christian. That's right. I'm not ashamed to be called a Baptist. Amen. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. My friend, I'm not ashamed of my Savior. Amen. His name is above every name. Amen. And I want to give him all the glory. Amen. All the praise that I can. Huh? Yeah. Let me tell you something. This, I know this is short. You're right. Jesus yeah. told us to be the light of the world. I want to read another scripture. Huh? Yeah. Praise Let God. me tell you something. Ephesians 5 and 8 says this. For ye are sometimes, listen, darkness, but now ye are light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. Yeah. You see, our walk is important. Uh, listen, uh, a lot of people said, uh, oh, listen, the Bible says this, uh, how beautiful are the feet uh, of those that preach the gospel. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, I'll bet you Chase Lane's got the ugliest feet in church. Uh, uh, my friend, I know my feet's ugly. Uh, uh, my friend, I can't help it. Uh, but my friend, let me tell you something. Uh, uh, that's not talking about uh, how your feet look. Uh, uh, my friend, it's talking about uh, how you walk, uh, how you walk. Oh, how you live for Jesus Christ every day of your life. And my friend, let me tell you something. What's that, Brother Bob? That's been a life. God, God wants you to be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to be what man wants me to be. I just want to be what God wants me to be. Honey, you won't have to worry about me tonight. I'll sleep all night. <laughs> uh, let me tell you something. This thing today is just as real to me right now than it's ever been. Uh, oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Just as real tonight as it's been one of us. I can take you to the very point, the place where I got saved by the grace of God. It's been, it's been torn down. They built a bigger church. And you may tell you something, that big old church that's set up there is really struggling. But let me tell you something. I don't know too many churches that really love God's not struggling. Because let me tell you something, the world's standing against us. But the Bible said if God be for us, who can be against us? Let me tell you something. Uh, listen, I'm not worried about winning the battle. Uh, my battle's won. Yeah. Uh, uh, because Jesus went to Calvary. Yeah. And he made my salvation secure. Yeah. And my friend, listen, uh, not on the cross. Uh, uh, but my friend, when he came out of that grave yeah. on that third and a part of yeah. He gave me victory over death, hell, and the grave. Amen. 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 Rob so a little bit ago, they ain't no very going to hold my body down. I guarantee you what, I'm not going to be in the dirt. Uh, come on. Huh? Come on. Uh, listen, I got me a spot on the top floor. <laughs> I'll make them all see them. <laughs> uh, Lord, I'll tell them in. Uh, if that's what you call them, I don't know what you call them. But I'm on the top 
top floor anyway. Because let me tell you something. When that salesman talked to me about getting one of them things, I said, I'll take it. But I want on the top floor. He said, why do you want to be on the top floor? I said, I'm going to be the first one out. <laughs> Amen. Be out of the light of the world. Yeah. A great light. Yeah. A shining light. Uh, and I'm, I'll say this, and I'm not saying this to embarrass me. I'm glad God. I sat there one Sunday. No, one on Sunday. It was during that revival we had. I sat right there. And I knew that I was just about that. No matter every time I tell Ron, no, oh, no, you're not. No, you're not. I said, Ron, I'm going to have to slow down. She said, no, you're not. No, you're not. But I'm sitting right there, right there by the shade of the side of Larry. My friend Chase come up here for that three-day revival. And he comes back and finished it. And that second trip, he said, let me tell you something. God spoke to my heart and said, that's the man. Uh, that's the man right there. Uh, and my friend, let me tell you something. Uh, God makes a way where there is no way. Uh, uh, don't you doubt it. Uh, a lot of people today, they're doubting God. Uh, but let me tell you something. Uh, just get up be a light. Don't be a grubber. Don't be a complainer. Yeah. Come on. Just get up and be the light that God told you to be. Amen. Amen. I love the family of God. Yeah, yeah. I love my family. Yeah. But I ain't mean, all my families living like they don't live. And I'll be the very first one to admit that. Huh? Yeah. Let me tell you something. But you know what? When I leave this walk alive and they walk around that little casket, uh, I'm going to be able to say one thing, Chase. My daddy loved God. Uh, my daddy loved God. My daddy loved his church. Uh, I still count this, not, uh, I'm not your pastor, but I still count this as home. Yeah, yeah. this is home. You're home, home. Right there, you're home. Let me tell you something. My friend, if you find a home you like, you'll stay with it. <laughs> you know what? That's what's wrong with a lot of Baptists. They don't want to find a home that they like. They won't change things all the time. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, you don't have to change everything. Uh, just get on the altar and get it right with God. Uh, and it'll look good to you. Uh, uh, my friend, listen. Uh, uh, let your pastor be alive to you. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, faith, I love her to death. You're running well, friend. Love her to death. You know why? She's a light to me. And I can go down right down all the way down the road. Yeah. Each one of you, you've been right to me. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, Bob. I'm about to. Let me tell you something. Be the light tomorrow. Be the light today. Huh? I don't know. Back when I had my first part of the day, I was in St. Vincent's Hospital. my nurse for the day. She looked at me and she said, I understand you're a Baptist preacher. I said, yes, ma'am, I'm proud of you. She said, well, I'm kind of Baptist myself. I said, y'all, she said, preacher, do you know a lady's in grace? I said, absolutely, I'm a Baptist when that makes it. They know they need to get a song done. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to have to go to church that meeting. And an old gal, she goes, I'm amazing grace. Well, I'll sing right along with it. Yeah, and you know what? Tears got to rolling down her cheeks. Go ahead, Mom. She got happy. 
she looked at me and she said, Preacher, the Lord is in this room. I can feel his presence. Girl. Uh, she said, Preacher, you're a light to me. I said, no, ma'am. I said, you're a light to me. Huh? Yeah, I'm the patient. You're the light. My friend, let me tell you, we're serving the real light. Yeah, right. He's going to take care of things. A few days later, a day or so later, I walked out of that hospital. And you know what? I've never forgot that. We can all be lights. Wherever we're at, my friend, whatever we're doing, we can be a light. want to run some more, go ahead and run. I'm better running. The white clock's just about quit ticking. But let me tell you something tonight. Go for it, Bob. I'm like the I'm like old Paul said. I'm saved. Yeah. I worked out my salvation. How did you work it out? And then there wasn't much work to it. But let me tell you something. I went down to the little old corners of Inch and the Cooper Missionary Baptist Church. There was a crack running all the way down that pew. Well, uh, uh, let me tell you something. It was a pew like this, but it wasn't a padded one. My friend had a crack one end from the other. You know what? Before I got on that altar, the lights of that church, they got on that, yeah. and it looked like a river. Yeah. I cried so much, Chase, tears was running out on the floor. Now the floor was wet under the bench. Yeah. And I thought to myself, well, this is a good night. This is a good night to go. And my friend, my brother-in-law, went, and he came back to me. He said, Bob, would you love to have what I just got? And I said, yes, sir, Andrew, I just love to have it. Me and him got saved on the same night. And let me tell you something. We celebrate our births on the same time. My friend, we got saved in the same church the same night. We got born. We got baptized in the same creek. My friend, in February, where they had to cut the ice and roll it down the creek. Yeah. A lot of people said, was it cold? Absolutely, it was cold. <laughs> I quit my line before I went after I got saved. <laughs> that water was cold. But you never walked, I never got a cold over it. I never caught the moon over it. Right. Uh, and after that, I started passing the White House. Went out the same baptizing hole. Gotta come up a snowstorm. I mean, it was a blast. <laughs> baptized about 21 souls that day. Sam and King come out of that water. Icicles did the lump his eyebrows. And I thought, well, I'm done. Time to get out of this water. My wife was standing up there on the bank. She said, Bob, remember that, honey? He said, she said, I got baptized when I was a little kid. She said, would you take time to baptize me? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. I said, come on, honey. Come on. Uh, yeah. Let me tell you something. There were some great lights back then, and there's yeah. great lights today. Yeah. Right? Now, let me tell you something. There's an old song they used to sing. Let the lower lights keep burning. Huh? Yeah. Well, the lower lights, folks, let's keep it burning. Amen. Amen. Let's let this world know that there's still hope. Yeah. Huh? Let me tell you something. Trump ain't the hope. Right, the hope. hope. My friend, the hope, the hope is sitting on the right hand of my heavenly Father, making an intercession for anybody or whosoever will come to him. My friend, let me tell you something. He'll save them from the devil's hell, and they'll never have to worry anymore. You say, Brother Bob, don't you worry about this stuff going on. No, I don't worry about it. Because I'm too close to the home now. I'm not going to worry about it. Why? Because it's in God's hands. Amen. Amen. God's in control. Yeah, I am. Oh, no. Just go for it, Bob. I'm done. I ain't going for no more. I'm done. Eight days. 
good news and keep the, keep the lights lit for a good while. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. We'll keep the lights lit. Someone else. Appreciate the man of God. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 Say this. Any announcements? We have a couple of announcements. We are, um, the Ladies Club is still taking orders for shirts for the next couple of weeks. Um, and we are also going to be collecting pop tabs for a few weeks um, on behalf of Jillian's family for the Ronald McDonald House at Riley Children's Hospital. There's a bucket on the back. Thank you. 